Hey, we're back for more Undertale. So, we entered the house of the Great Papyrus. So let's have a tour. Let's check this place out. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. What? Catch that middling canine. Too late. Curses! I do love Sans. Playing the trumpet. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Forget it. Ah, interested in my food museum? Please, her use my culinary art show. It's just spaghetti. Spaghetti. Alright, let's go, Papyrus. This is your room. That's my room. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. You do realise Frisk is still a child, right? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, dating start. Get ready for your first dating sim in Undertale. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name, which is very true. I snagged an official date in Rulebot from the library. We are ready to have a great time, let's see. Step 1. Press the C key on your keyboard for the dating hub. Wait, do I have to actually press the C key? Oh no, I just press Y or something. Wowee, I feel so informed. I think we are ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Really? Wowee. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You are wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning? Yes. Haha, <laughs> you're going crazy now. No, you planned it all. You are way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power is probably over 9,000, he was going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Yeah, what do you think of my secret style? No, a genuine compliment. Yeah, we're winning now. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Ooh, it's cool, dude. Yeah. Papyrus. Upgraded his clothing. Which proves he's smart at designing stuff. Pretty cool, right? I think I have to talk less as papyrus. My mouth is starting to hurt. Well, my throat. Mm. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course, it's spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. We eat a little bite. The taste is indescribable, because it's probably terrible. 
Or it might have been good. I don't actually know what Frisk's face is telling right now. I'd need to see his picture to know if he hates it or loves it. We might love it. Yeah, we do love you, Papyrus. You know, at this moment, they needed Vegeta to come along ago with Nappa, and Nappa goes, Vegeta, what does the Chikara say about his date power? It's over 9,000! Yeah, I shouldn't have done the 9,000. That killed a lot. It has all been for your sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I... Um, boy, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you that way. The way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus have failed. I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything. Human, I will help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> I think that's a nice way to be shut down by Papyrus. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me any time. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> and then I want to see if there's anything about this room. Oh, you can't go in here on this one. I was hoping there would be like some secret doorway. Because there's one for PC. I think. I know there's one for PlayStation and one for Switch. Switch has a special boss which is pretty cool, and PlayStation's one is an altar you donate to, and certain stuff happens. It gets more upgraded, so it's pretty cool the way it goes. So now we go through this part. Oh, and there's my man Sands. Waterfall we are now at. Yeah, Sans has got two jobs. Yeah, we're going to go grill bees. Sans wants us to go grill bees. It's funny, he knows super shortcuts, which is beneficial. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, uh, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, you Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes widows put whoopee cushions on the seats, aka me. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Groovy, we'll have a double order of fries. Am I the only one who wonders what's in the back? If it's an actual kitchen or not? Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Yes. Bon appetit. Oh no, my fries are ruined. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Did Santa scratch his butt? What the heck? I didn't even notice that. I wouldn't even trust fries from him now. 
Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They are all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, technically it's flowering. Not an echo flower. Welp, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. I don't have that much, but I always say yes, because uh, it's a bit of a banter. Just kidding. Gooby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Yeah, we had a nice time with uh, our friend Sans. I think... This part has only been hanging out with friends, because why not? Why would you not want to hang around with your friends? Let that be a lesson to you games out there. You need to let people hang around with their friends more in games. But this is great. And we're making good progress. Six parts in, and we've made it through Snowdin. And I'm going to save game here, and we're going to end... I'm going to stand next to the monster kid, because he's awesome. Okay, I'm going to end it here. So until next time, and goodbye.